Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given exponential equation as you can see over here. So let's go ahead and get started. And here's our problem. 3 power x plus 9 power x equal to 27 power x. Now let's focus on this 9 and 27. And we know that 9 could be written as 3 power 2 and 27 could be written as 3 power 3. So we can write this one as 3 power x plus 9 could be written as 3 power 2 and then power x equal to 3 power 3 and then power x. And now we can see we got these nested exponents 2 and x likewise 3 and x. So therefore we are going to use this power rule. So this could be written as 3 power x plus this would be become 3 power 2 times x equal to 3 power 3 times x. And now once again, we are going to apply this power rule in a different direction, in the opposite direction like this one. So therefore, we can write 3 power x plus 3 power x and then power 2 equal to 3 power x and then power 3. Now let's focus on 3 power x, 3 power x, and 3 power x. So we are going to use a substitution method. Let's suppose let u equal to 3 power x. So then our this equation is going to become simply u plus u square equal to u power three and now let's move everything to the right hand side so this equation is going to become u power three minus u square minus u equal to zero and now we can see on the left hand side u could be factored out we're going to take u as a common so we got u square minus u minus one equal to zero so now we got two factors equal to zero we can split them we can separate them i can put u equal to zero and the other side is going to become u square minus u minus one equal to zero and now we know that u equal to 3 power x, so I can write 3 power x equal to 0. And now we can see that 3 power x is an exponential function and that cannot be equal to 0. So therefore, we are going to reject this statement. And now let's focus on the equation on this right hand side and we can see that this is a quadratic equation. So we are going to solve by using the quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula we are going to use. And here's our quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. And here our A is one, B is negative one, and c is negative one as well so let's move on to the right hand side as we are running out of space on the left so u equal to minus and then b is negative one plus r minus the square root of negative one square minus four time a is one and c is negative one divided by 2 times a is 1 and here in the next step negative and negative 1 becomes positive 1 and here we simplify negative 1 square is 1 and negative 4 times negative 1 becomes positive 4 so thus our u value is going to be equal to 1 positive or negative square root of 5 divided by 
2 so this is our u value now let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs so we can write this one as u equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the other u value is going to be equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and we can see that this value is greater than 0 and this value is negative so this is got to be less than 0 and now let's focus on this right hand side we know that u equal to 3 power x so we can write 3 power x equal to u and u is less than 0 and we know that this 3 power x is an exponential function and this cannot be a negative number so therefore this statement is not possible so no real solution so we are going to reject this statement so therefore we are going to accept this statement since this is a positive number and now let's put it back over here we know that u equal to 3 power x so this could be written as 3 power x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by and now we are going to solve this 3 power x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 in the next step here I have just copied it down as you can see over here and now let's go ahead and take the log on both sides of this equation I'm going to take log on this side and log log on this side as well and now let's focus on this exponent x we are going to use this power rule according to this rule I can drag this exponent to the front so this could be written as x times log of 3 equals to log of this whole thing 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now we want to isolate x so I'm going to divide both sides by log of 3 and log of 3 here as well this log of 3 log of 3 this is gone so I got x equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of this uh, 3 and this is our solution now this solution could also be written as by using this change of base rule I can write this one x equal to log of this whole thing 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 with a base 3 so thus our solution could be written as this form or this one or this one in terms of decimal. All of them are acceptable and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.